was just doodling away in a, in a bar and then someone was like, oh, that's pretty cool, what are you doing? I'm like, actually, I'm unemployed, I have no education. And this woman was like, you should go to the wood carving school in Brienz and check it out, that you might like that. The next week I drove out there, stayed there for a week and four years of wood carving school in uh, the Bernese Alps. Five years ago I moved to BC and was just surrounded by forest again. I started one sculpture that led to the next and now I'm just in full swing. I thought it was time to work out in the public and I was thinking that the best stage for that would be a wood carving symposium. Organized that for 2020, not knowing what was coming for us. Yeah, we had to downsize it and in the end we're three carvers. Then now that the sculptures are in Centennial Trail, I see a lot on social media, people taking photos with them or with their dogs and the sculpture. There's a cool dynamic happening that they kind of get their own life out there. The tools I usually use for a larger piece is I start with a fairly large chainsaw, do the big cuts, and when I start a sculpture I try to visualize it in squares, cubistic, and with these straight lines and angles I can orientate myself like on a map uh, in the sculpture. And at the end I usually I go from 10 centimeter wide chisels to a one centimeter wide chisel. Being an artist in Rawson is nice, but it comes with its challenges because we're all living somewhat in the forest here. <laughs> and we also luckily have a gallery here where you get local artists come together. And I hope to create with the wood carving symposium like a biannual happening that grows over time and attracts more artists to Rossland. That's my goal at the end of the whole thing is bringing artists together.